Welcome, my friends, to Top 3 Bob. I'm Bob, helping you towards your goals of becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise. For those of you who have watched my uh, channel before, you realize that I am a big advocate of going into business for yourself. Uh, of course, you want to be prepared. And one of the shows that I think you may want to watch on TV, if you haven't already, is Shark Tank. It's a TV show which uh, entrepreneurs present their products uh, before a panel of, of investors, millionaire and billionaire investors, who uh, hope that the hope is to try to get them to invest in their business, whether it's a service business or, or a product business. There's five different concepts that I've pulled out from watching this show that I think might help you with your business. And they're all P's. And before I go into that, first of all, I, I can hear many of you saying, well, Bob, you're top three Bob. You're not top five Bob. But that shows you that to be an a entrepreneur, you have to be a little bit of a rebel. So once in a while, we're going to bump it up to five. So let's start off with the five Ps. Uh, the first one is proof of concept. You hear them say this all the time. A product comes out and they go, well, what's the proof that this is going to sell? Well, obviously, the number one proof to the investors is that they have sales and that they have lots of sales and that the sales are going up. So for you who, uh, I, I can tell you from my own uh, personal experience that actually I've got a product in development right now along with another friend and the, we have some proof of concept in that we have been using it on patients already and they like it. But we can't take it any further now unless we go the whole uh, you know, ball of wax in which we actually have molds made and have the product made. So I feel, we feel good enough now that we have a proof of concept, but now we're going to have to spend some money in order to, to prove it even further and get sales. So anyway, first, first P, proof of concept. You got to have proof that it is going to sell. Two, proprietary. You hear that all the time. Do you have some protection? So as Mr. Wonderful on the show says, so it can't be knocked off or crushed like a cockroach, you know, uh, by a bigger company. And this is very difficult. There's no guarantees that it won't be knocked off anyway, but a patent does help. It gives you some protection. Um, I always like how Warren Buffett talks about companies. He likes to see companies in which he thinks they have somewhat of a moat around them, a moat with crocodiles and alligators in, in it. Um, he, he thinks of uh, Coke, the brand uh, company, uh, Coca-Cola that way. He said, you could give me, I don't remember the exact number, but you could give me $100 billion, I believe he said, and I couldn't knock off Coke. Their, their brand is just too strong. Their distribution is too well set up. And, and so that's a moat around your company. He used to think the same of newspapers, by the way. Um, if you own the main uh, newspaper in a town, it was almost virtually impossible to knock you off. Well, of course, the Internet came along and changed everything in that regard. All right, so... Uh, the other thing that could be proprietary is if you have a unique process or just even if you have the right people working for you that are going to be hard to duplicate with other, other companies. Uh, passion. They look for passion. Uh, for people who really believe in their product. People who really believe in the product and are not just doing it for money will work harder. They will stick something longer. Um, it, it's just something you really want to see. It's a, um, that's the third P. Uh, price. Obviously, um, they're looking for the, the uh, fair price to invest into the product, but also they're looking that the product can be made at a great price. Um, so often people have great ideas and they put the product on the market, but they just can't get the price down to a point where people think it's a good value. And that's, that's a quandary. And, and sometimes that, there's no uh, answer for that. There's just no way to get the product down to a, a price in which people will buy it at. So you're, you're dead in the water on that regard. So that was the fourth P. And the final P, which is actually uh, number five, which actually is one of the most important, is, believe it or not, is personal integrity. If you have all those other things in place and you have a great, great product, but they do not trust the person who is presenting the product, they don't think they're honest, they don't think they have integrity, it doesn't matter anything else then because it's going to fall apart. So those are the five P's that you want to make sure that are actually in place for your uh, idea for your um, service or product if you're tr trying to go into uh, a business that you know it's basically how to shark tank your business all right hope you subscribe let's roll the quotes